Logging your raid and or dungeon fight can be an incredibly useful tool to have in your belt when it comes to improving within World of Warcraft. Having access to direct data about every moment within an encounter, from cooldowns to buffs to mechanics to interrupts, all of it. No matter what your skill level is within the game, recording your fights via logs is a great way to begin your self-improvement journey. But before we can start auditing log files to actually improve, we'll need to start with the basics how to actually record the logs so that you can get them uploaded to the internet. If you've been wanting to learn how to begin using Warcraft logs, but have been a bit lost on where to start, then you've come to the right place, friend. Hi friends, welcome in. My name is Rothmar, and my goal is to help make World of Warcraft more approachable to everybody. I've put a lot of time into this game, and I hope to help others enjoy it as well. The scope of this guide will be very brief, covering how to begin recording logs on your computer, and then how to get those logs uploaded to warcraftlogs.com. I will have a separate video covering how to understand the information contained within the logs, which I'll add as a playlist annotation now. But for the specific guide that you're currently watching, we'll be solely talking about the basics and the requirements of getting logs recorded and then uploaded. To get started, there are a few steps that we need to ensure are completed before we can begin logging. First, we'll need to log into World of Warcraft itself, and we'll alter one of our game settings to allow the logs to work properly. To do this, hit Escape to bring up the Options menu, then go to Options. Next, find the Systems section on the left-hand side, and finally Network. Once here, we'll need to ensure that the Advanced Combat Logging section is set to Enabled. Logs will not work without this setting, so it's very important to ensure that this box is checked. Now that we have updated our game to enable one of the required settings, the next step is to configure a Warcraft Logs account. Warcraft Logs is entirely free, but does require that you make an account with their platform so that they can accurately sync your logs to the correct characters and guilds. To begin setting up your account, head on over to warcraftlogs.com in a browser and look for the sign up button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Signing up is pretty fast and simple. You only need an email address, a preferred username, and a password. Then, be sure to check your email and click on the account confirmation link. After which, you'll then log in using the credentials that you created. After you log in, you should see that your account is created in the upper left-hand corner with a little flyout menu that you can select things from. One step I'd highly recommend doing at this point is syncing your Warcraft logs and your Battle.net accounts together. To do this, click on your account name in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and then look for the section which reads, you have not claimed any characters yet. Within this section, we'll click on the little gear icon here. We'll then scroll down to where we see the battle.net account section. You'll click on the region that's appropriate for you. For my case, it's USA. We'll then get taken out to battle.net where we'll log in using the credentials that we use for our battle.net launcher or the ones that you use to log into World of Warcraft directly. It will ask you for permission to access your character data. This should complete the syncing of our accounts together. It's important to make sure that you get this step done because it ensures that your characters are correct and they're not taken by another player. It also ties into being able to log your information directly to your guild that the characters are currently in. After this, we'll head back to the Warcraft Logs homepage and click on the Download Client link up in the topmost header section of the page. Then, choose your preferred operating system that you're currently running. Once downloaded and installed, you'll be prompted to log in with the Warcraft Logs account information that we created earlier. After we log in, we'll be officially ready to start logging. Okay, now that we have everything prepared, let's talk about how to actually begin logging. In order to start logging, all we need to do is boot up World of Warcraft, and then in the chat box, type the following command, slash combat log, and hit enter. This will put a confirmation in the chat that combat logging has been activated and will continue recording your combat logs until disabled. To disable it, you can just rerun the slash combat log command and you'll get an additional confirmation saying that combat logging has been disabled. Alternatively, you can also do a slash reload, which reloads your interface, which also stops the combat logging. You'll want to ensure that you stop combat logging once you complete your dungeon or your raid because it will continue to write information locally on your computer and that file over time can take up quite a few gigabytes of space. So it's a good idea to turn off combat logging when you're not using it. For context, when we run this slash combat log command, World of Warcraft will create a new .txt file stored within the World of Warcraft slash logs folder on your computer. 
Generally speaking, I would highly recommend using the Warcraft Logs Uploader, which is the program that we downloaded and installed earlier. You configure it one time, and from that point forward, logging becomes very passive. After we boot the program and sign in with the credentials that we used for our Warcraft Logs account, we'll be met with a screen that you see currently. Across the top, there are two main options that I want to focus on, Live Log and Upload a Log. These are two options for how you will get the information that is stored locally in your combat log TXT file moved into warcraftlogs.com. Both of these sections, live log and upload a log, ultimately accomplish the same task, but live log will update automatically as you play the game, while the upload log option will need you to manually select the correct file and upload it in its entirety once you've fully finished logging. Most people will use the live log option, but it is nice to have the upload option as a backup. Let's first talk about live logging, which is the preferred way to interface with logs. To live log, ensure that you're on the live log tab in the upper left. Next, you'll inform the program where your logs are stored. This will be wherever your WoW installation is and then slash logs afterwards. So for me, it's located on Program Files 86, World of Warcraft, Retail, Logs or you can use the Choose button if you want to navigate there directly. After this, you'll have the option to choose where you want to assign your logs, whether that's personal or your guild's name. This is under the Choose the guild that you want to upload to. Within this dropdown, you can choose Personal Logs, or I have two guilds that my characters are in, Threat Level Midnight or the Lock Mess. Generally speaking, you'll want to default to using the personal log option unless you're running with an all-guild group. There is no downside to choosing the wrong option, but some guilds have a Discord bot which will report to the rest of the guild when logs are running, so just be aware that this option exists, but check with your guild if they have a preference on how you log. Optionally, within the guild option, you can select from your guild's teams if they have any configured. For example, my guild, Threat Level Midnight, has three teams. Our Saturday team, Scott's Tots, and St. Hato's Fire. Next, ensure that you have the visibility of the log set correctly. The choices will be between public, private, and unlisted. Most of the time you'll want to default to public so that your information can be shared with other players and counted towards things like parsing and other metrics. That said, some progression guilds prefer private logs in order to protect their competitive edge that they might have on other players. Much like before, it's always best to check with your guild to see if they have a preference between public and private logging, but about 99% of the time, you'll be doing public logging. After this, you can fill out my favorite section, giving your logs a name. Technically, naming your logs is optional, you don't even have to fill this out, but it can help in identifying the contents of the logs easier if you're looking through a lot of legacy log information. Within our raid, I'm usually the one who runs logs, and I like to give each of them sort of a pun-based name based on the contents of the log that we're running. We also have a Discord bot which posts the logs to a logs channel whenever the guild is selected within the uploader. This lets me make jokes to the rest of the guild across multiple raid teams. Some of my favorite names are Curse Log Grim Totem, Dathia Ascended, Broodkeeper I Hardly Know Her, and Razzle Dazzlegeth. Once we've configured all the previous fields, it's time to actually begin live logging. To do this, press Go at the bottom of the screen. From this point forward, the uploader will watch for changes to the Combat Log TXT file and upload any partial data anytime the combat starts and stops. If you go into a raid boss, this will begin watching for changes within the combat log, and once the combat with the boss stops, either due to a wipe or from killing the boss, the program will then upload all collected data to Warcraft Logs. You can view this at any time by clicking the View Report button at the top that appears. We actually haven't done any combat yet, obviously, so it says this report contains no fights yet. As a reminder, come back to WoW and ensure that slash combat log is currently running or no data will ever be collected. Let's also talk about how to manually upload logs to Warcraft Logs. This method is not preferred, but it can be a clutch backup option if you forgot to start the uploader tool and you did have combat log running. So you do have a local copy of the fights on your machine, it's just that they weren't uploaded to Warcraft Logs, or if Warcraft Logs is experiencing some sort of server outage. To do this, we'll navigate to the Upload a Log tab within the Warcraft Logs uploader, and then we'll use the file selector here to manually find where our logs are uploaded and located. Personally, I get a little bit overwhelmed at times with this, especially if you have a lot of historical log information saved. So you can sort by the date modified column and find whichever one was edited most recently and upload that one. After this, you can choose if it's a personal or guild one, if it's for a team, if it's public or private, and give it a name and hit go. From this point, you should be ready to begin logging any sort of content that you want. 
The only thing to remember is that the game will continue to log information as long as you have slash combat log running in the game. This does reset if you perform a reload or if you need to restart your game. So be sure to run combat log at the start of the recording and again anytime if you have to reload or restart the game. And then also be sure to disable combat log once you're finished. If this guide helped you to begin recording your own logs within Warcraft Logs, be sure to leave a like on this video so that others can find it as well. If you enjoyed the way that this guide covered information, but you'd wish that I'd cover a different topic that you've been wanting to learn more about, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more in-depth guides from me in the future, be sure to subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember to play safe and be nice to the fellow players out there.